your show. It's actually rotating in from top of him. Time being is some bottom. Oof. I actually find a sanking this time. That was an Alding take. Will draw the first blood for the Witch Doctor. You've just achieved first blood. Thanks and have fun. Played indeed. Yeah, these, these lanes going well. Batrock just with a self deny. Bring dust. And they do bring dust as well as an extra sentry. So maybe that'll do the trick. As up top. Ooh, this time. Ah, oh, Spectre. No TP out in time. One more click will do the trick. And there it is. A counter slow from Jerry, but he's out of mana now. Kuko TPing into the shrine slot. He's creating so much space right now. Even though it's not the flame break, he was going for the kill, but. You died, oh, well, he almost did it. Needed one or two more clicks, actually. Yes. Yeah, okay, we've seen this one before as well. They land this is bottom lane. They're gonna set up for another kill here if they possibly can. The once again, chase him out of the sense. I mean, there's no defensive utility left whatsoever. So he's gonna take out to that. Top again, 6x six, six of the he has to go through the fire, he's dead. But the roll forward, punch back on TS Hunters, could turn into something if they have to change and they do, find it. He's gonna need some space, makes it himself with the LSA, nicely done indeed, another double round and forward with the last right click though, that'll secure the kill, which just a little bit say that though, we kind of walking in, looking for the cast, with the two, gonna bounce back into the LSA and still talking about TS Hunter, very happy to make these kind of rotations. Especially if they can find a Spectre here who did get that extra kill with the help of El Bashez on that uh, Witch Doctor. But nice flame break, slowing it down Dying further, come back for right clicks. It's certainly not worth it! <laughs> Especially early on, left, until he gets a few items going. Uh, he's opting for the Veil. So it's certainly buff up the damage output from him and the rest of his team, but he just keeps dying down here. Another cast with two. That follow up here, and the cast keeps bouncing back towards the worst bit, and Moa also keeping in. Sentry stacking up stuns a little bit, the cast not going to do much anyway, but they do have the ultimate to work with them instead. Now, not a random forward. No, actually wants to get the counter kill with the stun, buying a bit of space, but Flame oh God is still burning Jeru to protect extra damage now. It's back on, Madara. Let's have the ultimate to work with, and he needs some help. Triple LSA actually has all being slowed down, but going on, try and turn this around. He has some out of mana right now. Valkyrie has to go back in, goes for a clap. No, very low indeed, and there it is. Finally, the split coming through. Stick Trush is already just raking. Down below, half health again. Left up the Warlock, already did a splash of the Golem, another stun. It's kind of stacked up here with the. Uh, okay. Jerry actually keeps that magnetized going to get the extra kill. At what cost? He's gonna fall himself here more than likely than not. Dying to the fire, Slotty. If I stand, some has to get out of it, and he does indeed. Kuko even joining back in. Already used the horn a little bit earlier, of course. Secondary attempt. The burst shot. Oh, disconnect the bad one. It's gonna be another kill. And Valkyrie, without his ultimate, he cannot join. A few more stats to work with. As all up top, Brave King. Madara. Very aggressive, he might need some help, and there's a TP coming through, Magnetize, keep him going, extra slow, no, a little bit of damage here, nice dodge on the cask actually, is another stun, worth that ultimate, we kind of sacrifice himself, doing a lot of damage back towards Noah, his Vanguard has taken out the Mac Maledict, it's actually gonna finish him off together with this uh, Cinderbrew, or what, <laughs> bit burn, whatever that was, it's not even. no lasso, but blocks the roll, regardless, and a nice flame break here to set that up, Jerry, should burn on the fire eventually, there we go. Yes, Hunter, just to no vision, doing aggressively like that. It's the kind of thing where you just die without ultimate, without a way to turn things around, but... Luckily, the tier 1 was still alive. But I'm another easy rotation. It's not very low, he's trying to get the fire on top of him, and... Well, that's time he got now, Valkyrie's gonna have to take over, and it should be enough. The heal's coming through from the Warlock, though, with Golem. Trying to turn us around, Kuko still alive for the time being. The flame can by itself. Should really be enough, but Valkyrie gets that ultimate off and TS Hunter. Plenty of time to throw it in, they also get rid of the gold. A lift up on Sand King. Don't, oh, yeah, they want to dive this. Don't worry about it. LSA perfectly timed. Who needs yules if you can just use the team in on that Brewmaster? Kind of low for before, so he will give up his life for the cause. Yeah, now, Albashez. Run down by this bad route. It's gonna be another free solo kill for Slotin. That TP is never gonna work. Yep, that's a stun. It's a follow up. That's a dead hero. Uh, not just yet. I mean, he's being healed up a little bit, but 
It's not exactly burst healing you know, that you're talking about, and Radiance not nearly enough. So yeah, it, again, another one of these situations where if you had Golem or if you had an entire team ready, you can certainly count initiate on that. As it stands, he was just too far forward, and he dies. Ellis, a beautiful rotation again. G pride on top of it. Creep F sliding. He doesn't want creeps though. <laughs> he wants Cuckoo Hook. Some with that ward, and now flame break into the lasso. Is there some help coming? There is from Madara. Uh, not late at all. He had perfect timing with the blink in. El Bashez. Yeah, I know. He's playing a little bit. I mean, this creeper will do a lot of damage to the tower now. Oh, a decent amount of damage. No catapult with it. New creeper attack. arriving. So yeah, never mind. It's not gonna do too much at all. This down bomb. Mules, LSA, Jerry. He's reasonably tanky, and okay, that triple rendered burst hit the real one, cut off PDS Hunter, and they do indeed. And so this is sent some burst strikes out of it, not sure about this one. There's Noah has to try and get himself away. We in the front lines, no fear at all, because Madara coming right with him. There's another stun, the shrine is going, but Noah. There's nothing more remnants here, does he? The cast bouncing with those creeps back, there's a golem, everyone's linked together, this is pretty damn good. We, with the heal going this time, but on level 1, not gonna do enough, but they don't care. They don't care at all, they just cut them now. down one by one. It's gonna be another blink in a second. Uh, with stick charges, there's a stun too, so hell by shit. We'll serve up the triple kill for Madara. They're getting dangerously close, this 1k gold advantage per minute mark is sliding, gets a freeze. Working away at these racks. One last pick will finish it off. Now the LSA actually connects onto the Amber Spirit. That's the Golem and everybody. The Link, not so much. Only catches Madara somehow. That is very unfortunate. That's exactly what you want. Now there it is. The Blink Lasso. LSA, I think, off the mark, but it's still plenty of damage. I guess. Bashes. It's going to go down soon. Another Remnants. I'm just going to chase them. Ah. <sighs> Was a burst strike out, but still gets stunned. That's the way it goes. Still not calling. There we go. I was gonna say, like, just, just call it. The game was over 20 minutes ago, obviously. <laughs> I mean, not quite, but. Uh, the writing was on the wall from the stage. It's just 